And uh, today is a very special um, occasion because we um, also celebrate the 25th anniversary of the zebrafish issue that the uh, development published um, in 1996. So this, uh, this is the book. I don't know, probably many of you saw this. And, um, you know, so what is this um, book about? What is this celebration about? What is this particular issue of development about? Um, so basically, uh, this, uh, this edition of, of development was um, contained 37 papers and uh, 480 pages that described uh, the, you know, many, many, many hundreds of um, mutations or mutants in zebrafish that affect uh, embryogenesis or, or larval development. And so this was really the culmination of, of several years of work, uh, about 25 students and postdocs and technicians uh, in Tübingen and in Boston, in Wolfgang Drieber's lab and in, in Jan Inusland Vollhardt's lab, that, you know, spend a lot of time in the fish facility in microscope rooms uh, to look at, at embryos, to look at zebrafish embryos and zebrafish larvae and screen for, uh, for mutants. And so I think in total, um, more than a million um, embryos or larvae uh, were analyzed uh, in these screens. And as I said, this resulted in this, you know, hundreds of mutants that are all uh, described in this, in this book. And so together with the, you know, earlier efforts, pioneering efforts in, in Eugene, Oregon, this really kind of laid the foundation um, for a developmental genetics uh, in zebrafish. And uh, you know, if you just, uh, I did this yesterday, I, I typed in zebrafish in PubMed and then looked how many hits you get uh, per year. And uh, in 1982, you would have gotten seven uh, hits for zebrafish. 1992, when the screens uh, started, uh, 78 uh, papers. And then, you know, dramatic increase uh, from 78 to 890 in uh, 2002. And now, um, uh, 20 years later, this year, we're already at over 4,000 um, publications that uh, mention uh, zebrafish. So clearly, um, you know, dramatic increase uh, in popularity of this, of this model organism. And, you know, this was 1996, so the development uh, editors asked me to kind of reflect a little bit on, the, on that time. I don't, don't want to get too nostalgic. Um, I just want to say two things. One is um, it was just very, very exciting to discover these mutants. And also there were a few mutants coming out of Oregon, but then, you know, sitting in, this, in, this, in the screen room, we called it, and when I was in the Drever lab, and finding all these, you know, abnormal looking embryos and, and larvae was, was, you know, just very exciting. Now, even though we had no idea what the genes uh, at the time um, uh, were, of course, in the meantime, many of these mutants have been identified. We now know what the disruptive gene is. Um, but at the time, it was all based, you know, all there was, was was phenotypes. And there was also a lot of fun naming these mutants. So, you know, so for example, uh, one-eyed pinhead or mind bomb or spiel ohne Grenzen were some of the mutants that, uh, that we found in these, uh, in these screens. Uh, so they, these mutants really laid the foundation for many, many labs, including my own. Um, but as importantly, maybe even more importantly, the second aspect that I really remember from the screen uh, was the camaraderie uh, of the people that participated in, 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 in those screens. And so even, you know, 25 years later, you know, people I was sitting in this room with, Lila Sonica Kresel, Derek Stempel, Stefan Neuhaus and others, they're still very, very uh, close friends since, since that time. Um, so this was very exciting time. Um, but we don't want to dwell on the past too much. The, the, the talks I chose um, today for you, the three talks, really show you where zebrafish stands now and where the field uh, is, is moving. So at the time, as I said, most of the things were, you know, mutants, zygotic mutants uh, in, in early development and, uh, and organogenesis. And now, of course, in the meantime, we have maternal effect mutants. We have genomics. We have reverse um, genetics, we have, you know, amazing imaging uh, approaches. And uh, the talks today actually um, highlight some of these approaches that have been so successfully used now in zebrafish, going all the way from, you know, Karen's talk on, on, um, on, on using imaging approaches, um, then uh, going to, to Frida's talk, you know, even using biochemistry and structural biology, and then to, to Brad's talk um, using, you know, large-scale genomics uh, in the zebrafish. So I think these, these three talks will really 
highlight you know how far we have come since 1996 and so i'm really looking forward to these uh, talks